I'm feeling kind of magical, so I think we need to do some magic. Hello everyone, it is your human Thark, and welcome and or welcome back to the channel. I got a fun one today. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully it's gonna be a fun one. In the last episode, we got set up with some animal farms and really tried and failed, but experimented a lot and learned a lot about the new crafter and the new redstone capabilities added in 1.21. We're gonna take a break from farming in this episode and switch it up with some magical things. It's enchanting, of course. The whole reason why we got a lot of cows and all that kind of stuff was so that we could get an enchanting setup up and running so that we can be a little bit prepared when we enter the trial chambers again because let me tell you they are a lot to deal with and as someone who is horrible absolutely dreadful at pvp pve and minecraft i need all the help that i can get plus we have not really done solid buildings in like a couple episodes and i'm a builder i'm a chill cozy builder and all that kind of stuff so i think it's a long overdue that we get started on a different build and finish a build because i got a lot of prep work already done i did say that uh i wasn't gonna be that kind of youtuber that says oh don't worry i'll be you know right back in between episodes and do a ton of mining but i did do kind of a lot of mining however not off camera. In this chest that I am standing on top of, I have the spoils of our caving adventure in between episodes. We found some really cool things, really cool goodies, and so I will let future Thork tell you all about it. Not gonna lie, I think this is the first past Thork, future Thork bit that we've had in this Let's Play. It's out of character, we need to do more of them. Anyways, we got some good things in between episodes and slight correction that is the building chest that i was standing on top of not specifically the goodies chest however it's all one and the same because we do end up using the goodies that we get here including something from this skeleton spawner which i'm so glad that i found a name tag in this episode we do use that as well slight spoiler not really a spoiler I don't care anymore. Uh, I should have harvested this amethyst while I was down here. I wasn't even thinking about it, but we'll go back and get that eventually at some point. But yeah, we got a ton of good stuff while we were down here. Honestly, it was really fun doing this in between episodes instead of like a big random non connected segment of the video. I should really do this kind of stuff more. Um, as long as I do this kind of stuff though, this past Thork, future Thork bit. I think it should be no problem, right? <laughs> Anyways, kicking it back to past Thork for just a second. I, for one, think it is time for an upgrade. Now I just gotta go find some obsidian. And get obsidian we did. I went back to the surface and also collected some cows and trees on the way for some building materials, but we went back to the one very, very, very first nether portal or surface portal. I don't know what you call these, but we went back to this that we discovered in the first episode and just never touched and then continued exploring a little bit around that area just because, you know, I wanted to find a surface lava pool and I love exploring. It's kind of what I do. So I took advantage of this lava pool and got a ton of obsidian. Anyways, past Thork, take it away. So I think we came out of that adventure pretty good and we have a ton of stuff to work with. I mean, this is actually kind of the building chest for what I think we're going to do in this episode. However, lots and lots of goodies were had. We have so much obsidian, I will never know what to do with that. We have a ton of goodies, mainly diamonds. I'm really excited for that. But this is, I think, all of the things that we are going to need or maybe use, possibly use. I don't know if we're going to use all of them in the build, but I definitely want to build a cool enchanting area in this episode. So I think we should just go ahead. Oh wait, I need to actually make the thing. I forgot. I forgot I actually need to make a book first. There we are. Right, obsidian, diamond, book, magic. Oh yeah, all right, look at that. It's like, uh, it's getting my time. I should close that. But yeah, we got our enchantment table. We can set up an enchanting area now as well. This is gonna come in very handy with the trial chambers. You have no idea. That reminds me, we got some name tags, so we can actually start naming these guys. None of the comments on the episode that I said to leave some suggestions got that many likes, which is totally fine. However, one comment did get a single like. 
So that is the one that we're going to go with first. And the comment winner for the first dog name in this 1.21 series is Tada, this person. I forget your name, but the dog name recommendation was Sparky. And I think that is so cute. That is so cool. So that's going to be the first dog name. And we're going to, I don't know. I have to, I have to have some thought into which one of you I'm going to name. I just got you. So I think I want to do one of these other ones. I think you're the first one that I got. So hard to remember but I think you are the first one. I'll do that later in the episode though. I don't want to get sidetracked. Let's see how many bookshelves this can make. Six. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more. We also need to get set up with an automatic sugarcane farm. Uh, I keep saying this in all the episodes, I think, because, I mean, it's just... We really do need it. <laughs> it's definitely going to be on the agenda. 100%. Oh, I had, I had a ton in here. All right, we can make three more. I mean, that's not enough, but it is a start. I'll definitely need to uh, do some farming. I mean, we don't have much, like really at all. Like a cow crusher would have been ideal to set up, but I didn't want to do that like off camera and then come back with a whole build and all that kind of stuff. So, or maybe I'll go explore and try to find more cows, because I did get a lot of leather <laughs> in between uh, trying to find obsidian and all that, so maybe I can continue exploring the area? Yeah, I actually like that idea a lot more, because we have not explored in the direction that this camera is looking, so I think we should go do that. Or maybe I go do that and then bring you back in if there's uh, anything interesting. Who knows? We'll see. Let's go. <laughs> okay, actually, change of plans. I was going to go over there and explore more of that area because it just seemed like endless savanna. I wanted to see what was beyond it. However, I just remembered what I discovered when I was not recording. I usually try to record all of the exploration that I do. However, I just kind of felt like wandering around a little bit and seeing what was in our immediate area. And I am very pleased of what is in our immediate area. That looks like a whole bunch of ocean, which may be a good sign. I don't think I've seen any like cool things in the ocean itself yet. I just kind of went up to this area and I climbed this to see what was around here. And uh, what do you know? Another village. So if we can get lucky and find some books, that will make this whole process a lot easier. Here we go. Let's see what this village has to offer. Hopefully books, hopefully a blacksmith, hopefully something cool. Hello. Yeah, I'll also take all of these. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. I mean, you didn't loan these to me, but I'll take them. <laughs> And obviously, the lectern is a big plus. I don't have any wood with me, but I can just get some real easy, real quick and easy like this. And back at home, we have a total of 12 plus 3, that is 15, a perfect amount. However, I mean, we gotta keep exploring this village a little bit. We do have everything we need now for the enchanting table, though. I'll take these. Uh, <gasps> ooh! I forgot, I need to be looking for carrots and potatoes and all that kind of stuff. I know I can- <gasps> Yes! Okay, cool, awesome, love it. I knew there was a reason why I wanted to why I wanted to keep exploring in this area. Don't mind if I sleep here for the night, do ya? Okay, we don't need seeds, we don't need feathers, there we are. I am absolutely going to take advantage of all of these hay bales, though. 100%. If we're going to be breeding all these animals, we're definitely going to need it. I feel like there's gonna be something cool right over there. I have no idea why, just something, something's telling me that like, go and look over that hill, <laughs> you know? I see a lot of flowers over there. I think that's flower forest. Come on, give me more crazy terrain. What are you doing? Oh, I apologize. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. One of my favorite things in Minecraft is exploration. So if you guys want a series just based on that alone, I mean, I would be so down. I am the kind of player in Minecraft that just kind of starts up brand new worlds with zero intention of finishing them just to see what the terrain generates, you know, just to see some crazy things and then basically delete the world from there. Yeah, let's see what's over there. I don't feel like going all the way over there, so let's just see this is why render distance comes in clutch so often. I mean, yeah, I gotta go explore that. Ooh, these kind of things too. I just love it. Give me these. This is a lot of wheat. Holy. I will never say no to a cartography table. I don't know if I can craft them. I would imagine that I can. 
Although I've never thought about how I actually do it. Man, this generation is all kind of wonky. What is going on? Oh, man. Ooh, holy, village, village, village. I don't see a blacksmith anywhere though, so I think we should probably head back. Oh, never mind. There's a blacksmith. <laughs> what is going on here? Hello, generation. Perfectly forming a perfect tunnel. I love stuff like that. I, I, I say that so often, but it's so true. A growing stand, I don't know if I need, but this, I will gladly take these. Grindstone, gimme, and what do you think we're gonna get in here? Diamonds, obsidian? Let's find out. One, two, now. Eh, alright. Yeah, I will gladly take that chest plate as the one that I have is currently running very, very, very low. And I will, of course, fix up my pickaxe gladly anytime. Okay, you know what? Not too bad. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. However, I think I've spent enough time wandering around. How long has it been? Oh god, yeah, okay. I will never not get distracted when it comes to exploring in Minecraft. I could go on for hours and hours and hours. Holy, wait, what the? And turtles. I remember when Minecraft villages were so, so rare. They're just not that rare anymore. I feel like that's making me sound so old. Let's get back to base. All right, so we are back at home. I think I'm gonna put this here. I will organize most of this later. What I am gonna do right now though, I'm gonna grab all of this stuff. We got 15 books, we got the enchanting table, and back over there we have everything that we need to start actually, actually building this thing for real. The only question left is where am I gonna build this thing? Well, I think right there is a good spot. I've been thinking about this area for a little bit now, and I don't know, kind of having like a area here where this dirt patch is, but like make it kind of cave and cozy like, and I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but it could definitely be something, and we're gonna try to make it something. Nothing too big, probably literally just the size of that dirt patch. It could probably cut out a lot of the boring bits. So yeah, let's do it. Relying on future Thork again, are we? That is totally fine by me. Uh, gives me something to do. But anyways, this was a very, very, very fun build. I ended up going with just the record the process and record over it later, obviously, because the amount of times I got distracted just by things in the world and also just videos and music that I was listening to, I, I, it was a mess. So I just opted to record over it. So... I can skip all of that nonsense it makes it much, much easier. Plus, it gives me a little bit of practice um, for a kind of format of video that I am thinking about doing for something else. This kind of like talking narration, oh, on day one we did this, on day two we did this. I've been really kind of feeling drawn to that kind of content a little bit, but I have no idea how I would actually use it. Now, don't get me wrong, the format of these Let's Plays are not going to change. This is still going to be like kind of like recording in the moment raw stuff. However, I would very much be interested in doing a series where I kind of approach it in that lens of just doing a massive recording session and just editing over it later with some commentary that I can kind of make interesting and tell a story with. But anyways, this build I love so much. It turned out so cozy. These trees were a last minute decision as well as half of the decorations that you see. When I build, I tend to just gather whatever is in my inventory or chests nearby and throw it all together and hope that it works. And it kind of does. I mean, there is a little bit of color theory, a little bit of like building knowledge that, you know, is in these kind of things. But for the most part, it's just going with the flow. And uh, I think you will very much enjoy the enchantments that we get for our first couple of rolls. So future Thork, no, I'm, f I'm future Thork. Past Thork, uh, go for it. All right, I think this is a pretty good start to our enchanting area. I got so like in a trance about this process. It was really fun. There's only one thing we need to do to finish off this area, and that is, of course, to put down the bookshelves. Hopefully I don't misplace any. That would just be annoying. We go here, here, and here, here, here. And uh, here, here you go. <laughs> now, if I did my Minecrafting correct, this should get us to level 30. Eh? Did I? Oh, hang on. Are these in the way? Probably. Level 30? Yeah, okay. I I'm only used to like torches being 
the things that interrupt the the flow of the experience but that makes sense that also makes sense so we have achieved level 30 and i don't know about you but i think we should probably get enchanting here we do have 36 levels so that should be plenty to get us at least well, I think that's two level 30 enchantments. Super, super cool. I think we should probably try to get some fortune. I'm actually going to enchant some other tools at like a low level to see if we can reroll fortune. Efficiency two for one level is not bad at all. Fortune three. There we go. Uh, yeah, I will need to go get my diamonds, but I think we need to uh, take advantage of that. Oh. I also need to to fix those up. That'll be no problem. All right. Okay. Fortune three and three, two. Now, first level 30 enchantment of the world. What do we get? Oh, man. All right. Fortune three efficiency. Is that four? That's five, four. I don't know. Roman numerals. I have no idea. Unbreaking three. That is a phenomenal pick. I will be gladly taking that. Thank you very much. See if we can enchant a bow. Let's reroll another. Uh, I can't speak. Another level one. We get power. Another pickaxe. Silk touch. There we are. That's what I want to see. The next level 30 enchantment. Let's see again. It is on a damaged pickaxe. However, we get silk touch, efficiency, and unbreaking. That will be great compensation for the lack of health there, and we can always heal it up with mending or just stack some diamonds onto it. That'll be fine. And uh, there we go. That is a pretty good enchantment session. We don't have that strong of an armor setup going, but honestly, I don't think I care with all this kind of stuff. I could go back down into the caves, get level 30 real quick, and try to find some more diamonds to mine. Eh, uh, well, no. No, 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 no. We've done enough. We. I feel like getting this stuff sorted and presentable and finished is, I think, the priority. Because I feel like I could do that in the next episode or between episodes, do kind of like a mining montage. Or just at some point in the future, do a big mining episode. But we have the tools, we got the enchanting set up, and I think that's pretty good for now. So let's finish up this build just with a couple blocks. I have a cool idea of what I want to do, and then... I don't know, that might be it for the episode. Let's do it. All right, so we're not gonna do anything complicated for the uh, bottom of this thing. I just really, really want to make sure that, I don't know, the build makes sense, you know? So we're gonna take this and make, I don't know, platforms out of this kind of stuff, or not, not platforms, uh, pillars. Something to give like a little bit of structural support. Just something like that. I think that looks kind of nice. We need to go one lower here. This seems fine. Maybe clear up some of this stuff so we can have an easier way in. Place some of the roots down over here. Oh, not like that. Not like that. Like that. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Super, super cool in my opinion. So with this main build out of the way, there is one more thing that I want to do. Oh, I see a torch. I have to grab it. I have to grab it. Okay. Um, there is only one more thing, speak of distractions, that I want to do, and that is do the dog name suggestion. We only have one to start off with. However, I'm sure we will find many more as the series continues. So Sparky, where you at? Also, I'm gonna need to craft an anvil, I just realized, which is gonna be very expensive, but it'll be very worth it. That is practically all of our iron gone. So yeah, next episode will have to be a caving episode or at least part of it and do kind of like a time lapse or kind of compilation like I did at the beginning of this episode of just finding diamonds, finding iron, finding all that kind of stuff with Fortune 3 and make it really, really cool. But that's not now, that is uh, later. This is now. Uh, oh, right, I put the thing up there. Also, I could probably get started on a pathway. Just nothing much, literally, basically nothing at all. Just literal pathway blocks. And uh, make something fancier later, just to start to connect up the area. Okay, yeah, a name tag suggestion coming in from this comment once again, just as a reminder. Hang on, let me just make sure that's correct. Sparky in the lead with one like. 
There you are. Now, which one of you is Sparky? Uh, well, I got you last or most recently, so it's not you. For sake of continuity, I think you're the first. So, Sparky. There you are, buddy. How do you like your new name? Nice. Could we combine these? Power and power? Power two? Uh, we can get a healed power two bow. That's fine by me. It's wasting a little bit of enchantments, but whatever. I'm getting distracted again. Put these diamonds back where they belong. Put the name tag back in a safe place. And then... And uh, with that, I think that is the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I need to get my armor set up situated, but that could be for the next episode. In this episode, however, we did a lot of cool things. We got our enchantment set up, set up, and we also named our first puppo in this world. Super cool, super fun stuff. Generally pretty chill. We also did some exploring which was really fun. We have tons of villages if we ever need some supplies or some extra villagers if we set up a trading hall. Who knows? I'm sure that area could come in very, very useful. That's for a way later date. I'm not interested in villager trading just yet, although I've never really set up a villager trader to begin with. I think there's a lot more basic things that we need to get out of the way in order to get that stuff set up. Now that we have access to fortune and silk touch in the next episode, I think we should go mining again, at least in a brief little compilation of things and, and, and moments. I don't know if I want to do an entire caving like episode. I'm sure I could, if you guys would want that, I could do like a caving mega episode. However, I think I might be more beneficial to maybe set up a farm in the next episode, some caving, some farming, all that kind of stuff. Cause we, we got carrots, we got potatoes and get set up with a little bit of a better food source. Maybe it is only episode, it will only be episode six after all. So we are still in the early game. At least, I classify this as the early game. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to do in the next episode, or two, or a couple, let me know in a comment below. Leave a, just, just to do some typing down there. Um, I will read it. I like to reply to all you guys if I can. So, let me know. Other than that though, uh, hello. Uh, you got uh, something to say? Anyways, it is now nighttime. I need to get back inside. Leave a like if you did like this video. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with whatever we got going on. And uh, yeah, share this with a friend if you think that someone else that you know that also likes Minecraft would also enjoy something like this. You know, it's a cool thing to do. I recommend it highly. Uh, yeah, keep being you, keep being awesome, and we will see you guys in the next one. Much, much love. All right, that was a pretty good episode. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Ooh. Oh, th that must have just happened. Nice. Yo, oh man, these are starting to turn to a blue. So cool. Sparky, you like it? I think you'll like it.